Hey guys, it's Aaron and I want to show you a brand new extension today from Mindsight Studios called Bevel. Awesome and we are going to check it out. So there are a handful of commands that do something similar to what Bevel does, but Bevel does in a different way. Uh, so the thing it does is it puts bevels on things or chamfers. Um, it actually goes in and takes those, those corners, those hard corners and knocks them down, rounds them out. And the way it does it is, is really the cool part. The thing I want to look at, because it does it in a way that, uh, that I really like. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's take a look at it and, uh, find out about more about Bevel from Mindsight Studios. Okay, so um, Bevel is currently available from Mindsight Studios. We'll have a link down in the description below. Uh, it is a paid extension. There is a trial version, so you can try it out for 15 days. And 15 days is more than enough to see the value in this, especially if you do any kind of soft-sided or beveled geometry like what you're seeing right here. It's going to be well worth the the couple bucks it costs to do that. I mean, this is this is just a super powerful tool. So I'm gonna stop talking about it, we're gonna go do it. Let's take a look at using Bevel. So once you get Bevel installed, you'll see here, uh, I do get this toolbar, a real simple toolbar. I'm a big fan of, of keep it simple, right? Keep it simple, Aaron, Kissa. That's what that meaning means. That's what that, that phrase means. So we only have a couple buttons here. I'm not going to, this is not going to be exhaustive. I'm not going to go into all of it. I'm going to tease you guys. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that Bevel lets you do. And then uh, you can kind of get the feel of, of how you might use it. But if I look at some of these, the main tool that I've been using is right here at the top, which is the Bevel tool. And what the Bevel tool lets me do is come in here and grab a face, grab an edge, and just grab it and just start beveling it. Look at that. I just, I'm doing that. I'm just clicking on it and beveling it. So one thing you'll notice on the bottom, it does say segments. So I can actually change that. So if I want to do, you know, kind of something more blocky, I can put in three and, or two. See that? And of course, if I want to go real, if, maybe if I type in 12, then I'm going to get like, you know, 12. Oops. 12, enter. And that's going to give me nice, smooth. See that? I actually have those, that right there. Um, I can take a face and do the same thing. I can take the face and I get this cool preview, this kind of wireframe preview of what the final bevel is going to look like. And I can actually, this is the part I liked about it is I don't always know how many inches my bevel is going to be. So being able to just click and drag and release when I find this, the shape I want, that's pretty cool. The other thing that's neat about this is it automatically jumps through and finds geometry in the back. See that? Look at that. There's, here's my other side. Take that and bring all the geometry in. Um, it's also, this is, this is another tool. One of the things I really liked about this, this is a cool thing. I'm going to drag this back. So you see this, my box is way taller than it is thick, right? So if I come in here and I start beveling this right here, watch what happens. I'm going to eventually get to the point where my top bevel is going to hit the edge, but I can keep dragging this and look, I get this, I get this uneven arc, this, see that, see how I drag it down and it's, it's not a symmetric bevel. I think that is awesome. I really like the ability to go in and sculpt on geometry as opposed to, you know, not always going in and very specifically putting in exact geometry. So this works so well in what the way that my workflow works, which is kind of like feeling how I want the geometry as opposed to knowing exact dimensions or anything like that. Undo that. And I can grab a face. I can also pre-select geometry. So I could grab, you know, all this geometry. I could double click a face and then hit bevel. Um, you have that choice. If I come in here and do a bevel and I want that same bevel on the other side, just like the rest of SketchUp, double click. Um, I like that. I can't tell you how much I appreciate when extension manufacturers kind of follow paradigms that already exist. There's not like a modifier key to do the same bevel again. It's that quick and easy. Um, and this is, again, this is, this is just some of the, some of the cool stuff. So let's grab this guy right here and bring this up. And look how this happens, how how easy and quick it is to just throw these bevels onto this geometry. It again, just the click and drag is super cool. And I know I'm 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 harping on the same thing over and over again, but this is what I did when I downloaded this and started playing. I just started drawing geometry and pulling it up. 
that simple. We are not even getting, again, we're not even getting into some of the other stuff. Like we're going to come back and talk about live bevel um, and that sort of thing, but we're not even going to go into all the stuff it does. Because like I said, I got to leave you guys wanting a little bit more. You got to come and play with it yourself, but I can do the same thing. I've been doing exterior demo or exterior corners, outie corners instead of any corners. But you can see I do the same thing here. Let's go in, let's, let's select that and that. Let's grab all the corners at once. Go grab bevel. Oh man, I love it. It is so smooth, so quick, so easy and perform. It's fast too. I don't, it doesn't end up sitting there thinking for a long time. Um, I'm going to undo that and here's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab, I just want that, just that geometry. I'm going to go ahead and make it into a group and show you this thing called live bevel. When I click live bevel, what it's going to do is automatically put a bevel on all the geometry in this selected group. So I can come in here and I can actually, you know, set how big that offset is. And what it will do is it'll show me. So I have two things here. I have this, this hard line outline is my, my core geometry. And then this gray soft is if a bevel was applied to every bit of that geometry. So I can do things like push, pull, pull this out and it will update that geometry. See that? Look at that. So, 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 so simple, so easy to do, so quick to do. And I can add geometry too, right? So I can come in here, draw a rectangle on this face and then pull it out. And it's gonna add that same, ooh, got a growth, you should get that checked. It's gonna add that same softness to every bit of geometry I have. So let's throw a rectangle up here and push it down in. And I'll see that nice soft pit there. Oh, so cool. So, and I can add change, I can change my, my preview to what do I wanna actually see? So just see the bevel geometry. Do you want to see the proxy geometry? That's my non-bevel geometry. Or do you want to see both? Visualize one laying over the other. And then I can also uh, come in here, make adjustments. How, how, what's my opacity like? Do you want to see that? Um, very cool. Very nice. One thing that I have noticed a little bit of is because this geometry actually exists, it's actually showing you both geometries at the same time, you can actually inference this hidden uh, bevel geometry. So you just have to be kind of careful. If you're going to do a lot of real precision work, zoom in or turn your bevel off and do your, or do your work just on your proxy and then come back to preview it. Um, just something to note, not a bad thing, just a thing. That's the way it works. So I, the first time I came in here, I tried to draw a line to break a surface. And I think I ended up doing something like this, inferencing to the face rather than snapping down. So again, not a big deal, but, uh, something you want to be conscious of as you're you're doing that kind of work but yeah it's awesome and i mean this is this is the kind of stuff i got excited about right so let's grab some wonky off-axis geometry and try beveling what happens uh it does exactly what it says it's going to do aaron that's what happens so yeah i would i would highly recommend check this out uh try try it like i said it's got a trial so you can't you can never lose with a trial right a trial's a great way to see if something's gonna work for you. See if it works in your workflow. I didn't even get to a lot of the stuff here. It does have some stuff like automatic smoothing and cleaning up your model. Um, great tools all, but man, just that that dragging bevels, well worth it for me, it, the way it fits in my workflow. So Mindsight Studios, that's the name of the website. Like I said, there's a link down below, but check it out, Bevel. Super simple way to add bevels to your model. Uh, some people are going to really like that live model or that live bevel where it automatically bevels as you're creating geometry. That's great if your whole model's rounded. Otherwise, like me, I just, I see so many opportunities to grab geometry and just start sliding that slide, sliding my mouse back and forth to create those round edges. Um, that's what I'll be doing. I'll probably be using this. I have a live model later today. I don't know if I'll use it or not. We'll see. We'll have to see what happens, but it's going to make it into my workflow. It is part of my de default toolkit now. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Bevel from Mindsight Studios. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of Bevel. Let us know what you think of other extensions. Is there something else we should be checking out in these videos? Do you have an idea for something we could model? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.